Hey everybody, I'm Nathan Masters. I'm Josh. We are the Brick System Brothers, and today we have a video for you guys with uh, the good old Saturn V set. Uh, we've seen that before. But today's video, uh, in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 landing on the moon, we are going to do some scaling for you. And as you can see, we are outside and we have a nice long stretch of highway. So uh, we've done the numbers, we've done the math, and we're gonna see how high in altitude the Saturn V would have gone if it was in Lego scale by driving along the road. So let's check it out. So our starting distance is going to be where this uh, road surface changes and to get an idea of that you're going to want to look for these signs here and uh, that's where it turns into gravel here as well. So we're going to start here and go down the road. We're going to use the odometer on the car. Uh, that'll get us to the tenth of the mile and that should be close enough. We're just trying to see, get a visual here, uh, and remember this is for altitude, so we're really moving horizontally, but think of it as moving vertically through the atmosphere. So according to my math, um, the scale of the Saturn V LEGO rocket is about 111 times smaller than the full size one. So using those numbers and some numbers I found online, I'll, I'll give you guys a link to that source if you want to check it. Um, stage one of the Saturn V went 38 miles into the atmosphere and that corresponds to 0.34 miles in Lego scale. So we're going to get going here. Our odometer is at uh, a 0.4 and so to go 0.34 miles we want to go until it says 0.7. Alright, so yeah, we can see the sign way down there, uh, glinting in the sunlight, and this is what about 0.34 miles looks like, and we have no traffic out here, it's a perfect night. So Josh has the rocket out, go ahead and snap that stage, no not that one, <laughs> here I'll grab that. So this is stage one separation at 38 miles into the atmosphere, so this uh, this is horizontal and we're going vertical. This is straight up pretty much. All right, so that is stage one separation. Um, the next one is gonna be stage two separation. And so far we've only talked about um, vertical distance into the atmosphere, but at a certain point, maybe a little bit before stage one separation, it starts to orbit the earth. So we're going vertical and then we're gonna start going horizontal as well. So if we tried to cover horizontal distance, um, I worked these numbers out too, and the end of stage two downrange would be 8.4 miles uh, to LEGO scale. So we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna look at vertical range. So stage two separation occurs at 115 miles up, which in the Saturn V LEGO scale is 1.04 miles. So we need to drive uh, almost three quarters of a mile. Alright, let's go. Okay, so um, we ran out of road. We're at the top of the hill. The odometer just hit uh, 0.2, so the 1.2 mile mark. And um, we need to go another 0.2 miles. But from here you can see the glint of the sign just barely down there where we started. And we're up on the hill now. So we're going to continue down the hill, and then where we stop, we'll look back up. Um, this is already kind of giving me a better idea of just the sheer scale of this rocket. Um, but yeah, this is the 0.2 miles from stage 2 separation. So we're one mile exactly from our starting point, and I know that because in Iowa, we have uh, roads at every mile. So we started at our gravel road and now we're at the next section, so there's another gravel road going that way, and then this one over here is a highway. So the stage two separation occurred at 1.04 miles, so we actually have to go down the road a little bit far. 
Okay, so now we're a little bit past the um, one mile mark. And in Lego scale, that means it is time for the stage two separation. So hit it, Josh. Nice, all right. So stage two is separated. Um, you can see the hill behind us. That's where we were at 0.8 miles in Lego scale. So just to give you an idea of how far the Saturn V traveled in altitude, and if we are looking at downrange, that's even farther. We would have to drive, we would have to drive 13 miles to get to the stage two separation. And um, yeah, we're not gonna go that far tonight, but that's really interesting. Um, I'm glad we did this. What do you think, Josh? I think it was fun. Yep. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea of uh, the scale of the Saturn V, the Apollo missions. If the Saturn V was the size of the Lego rocket, which is 1 to 111th scale, it would have gone in altitude this far from our starting position. And now you just multiply that by 111 approximately to get to the actual altitude of 115 miles. So 150 miles up is where it started the orbit of Earth and the stage three actually didn't separate much higher than that because the stage three requirement was simply to get out of Earth orbit and out to the moon. So 150 miles is about the peak altitude, but the Saturn V stages ended up going a lot farther downrange. All right guys, uh, I hope you thought this video was cool. Josh and I had some fun running the numbers and looking at the scale and uh, that's just that's just the Saturn V. Um, the lunar lander ended up going all the way to the moon, which is another, uh, let's see if I can remember it off the top of my head. It was like 140,000 miles. I don't know, I'll give you guys the right number, but yeah, crazy sense of scale here.